What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again with another episode of Omori. In the last episode, I basically checked around the Orange Oasis to see if I had anything else to do over there. And well, I thought that it was eventually time that we came back to reality and whatnot. Also, I just realized there's a cat over here who's hungry, but I don't have fish. Oh, that's tragic. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> what is this? What the heck? What happened here? Dang it! It must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. I don't know what is it about my controller, but it keeps disconnecting for some god knows reasons. Uh, don't worry, Cal. <laughs> it could have been worse. It actually could have been worse. Sunny, be honest. Do I smell? Oh, I thought you, I, I didn't realize he was actually uh, cleaning it. I thought he was just smelling his pits. <laughs> oh wait, hold up, Sunny. Ah, uh, yeah, he's just, he's gonna tell me to fuck off from this place. Before I started the episode, I needed to make sure what we needed to do, because not gonna lie, I've been editing all day and I just had no idea what we we're supposed to do. And well, Faraway Plaza is where we're supposed to go. He wants us to, uh, Kel wants us to buy some things, uh, cause his mom told him to. God damn, there's still trash everywhere! But there's also basil. Uh, basil? <laughs> hey Kel. <laughs> hey Sonny. Uh, sup basil? Nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after yesterday? Uh huh. Y yesterday? W what do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom. Uh, uh, oh, oh, right. Y yes, I, I feel much better now. Uh, did you want to hang out with us today? Sunny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. Oh, Basil. Uh, I, I don't know. M maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Aw, oh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Y yeah, y you're right. Okay then. Uh, see you later then, I guess. Man, <laughs> I feel so bad for Basil. His fucking face when he realized that we were leaving. It still... That just hurts. It, it's not the it's not the it's not the creepy unhinged basil from episode two where I was just like bro this makes me feel uncomfortable no this is just the basil's just like fuck dude like I truly feel bad for him all right guys what you cooking up over here hey neighbor how's it going hey Kel oh and who else is with you oh wait I recognize you it's sunny, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. My family has always lived here, but I was sent off to boarding school for a few years and just came back about three years ago, I think. Hey, Sunny! Chris is my next door neighbor, and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid, or a shark, or even a torpedo. Oh, Kel, you're never short on compliments. <laughs> Aren't you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll be a shoe-in. <laughs> well, I'll try. I've been playing every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. <laughs> but if I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Oh, I'm not that hardworking. It feels like fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry, I must have sounded a little obsessed. That's totally fine. It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. Actually, I think this all started because I went to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. The ocean reminds me of the friends I made there. I hope maybe I can see them one day. But for the time being, 
I guess I'll be collecting seashells and stuff. You know, that story kind of reminded me of this, but Sunny is actually moving away from here really soon. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to handle moving away to a new place. Oh, Sunny is moving? Hmm, well, being away from my friends was pretty tough at first, but change is a fact of life. It's the memories we make with them that we should cherish. You know what? I just decided something. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. Sure, I will. And yeah, like Hell said, you know, it's fine to be passionate about something. Like, I'm still passionate about, like, you know, recording and editing videos and whatnot. It's like, what, 11 p.m.? And this episode isn't going to go out until, what, late March, early April? And it's March the 5th? <laughs> But I'm still passionate about this game and about recording, and you know, I, w I want to make this an enjoyable time for each and every one of us. What a lovely day for a picnic. I brought my specialties. Chicken pot pie, lemon pie, and of course, my world famous apple pie. Phew! Making patties is hard work, but once I sink my teeth into that tender, juicy burger, it's gonna be all be worth it. Mmm, I can almost taste it now. Dear, pay attention! The patties are burning! Oh, shoot! Uh, thanks, son. That was close. Yeah, if you ever ask for a burger, a patty, anything that's well done, you're basically asking to eat a fucking leather boot at that point in time. Seashells, seashells, seashells. Where the hell would I find seashells? I have more... Not fun, but I just have more luck finding trash because, oh, it's right here and about, but where would seashells be? What's up, guy? Hey, pals. Good to see you. These new recyclist folks that have been showing up and are making a real big change around here. This is the first time I've seen so many people taking the initiative to pick up the trash. Makes my job a whole lot easier. <laughs> Something about them feels a little fishy, though. What about you guys? Um. Okay. Never mind then. All right, old lady. Once again, I have your trash. Six dollars. You know what? It's more. It's more than anything. It's more than zero. I'll give you that. And I guess like I'm. I was just editing episode nine, I believe, and I remember I said that um. You know, I shouldn't be rewarded for taking out the trash. So, you know, I, I should just say positive. One dollar is more than anything. It's more than zero. It's more than anything else. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the bakery at another mart. Lead the way, Sonny! Oh, what do we have over here? Oh, what? Is the Maverick not here? I'm curious now. Oh my god, this place is still messed up again. Alright, I am going to have a good time doing work over here. But first, I want to talk, what, what's up with Frizzy Air over here? Yesterday, while I was eating a banana, I found a cool overgrown lake area just behind the park. But soon after, a bunch of hooligans on scooters rolled in and kicked me out. And to make matters worse, they even threw away my banana! Ugh. I can't let a bunch of kids boss me around. I'm an adult now! A young adult, at least. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If you if you have the numbers, you can just overwhelm people. Anyways, it is time for me <laughs> to get a job. No, not that one. Yes, help wants to. I will be right back. Alright, we are finished. Now, let me have my dinero. $30. Thank you very much. Also, I didn't realize this until I was editing, but what is this? That was a seashell this entire time? That kind of looked like a watering plant to me. Or not a watering plant. Um, God, how do I not know the name for this tool? It's just the thing that waters your plants. Editor, you know what to do. You just put up the goddamn... <laughs> just put up the goddamn picture on screen right now. That's the thing that I'm thinking of, but I generally do not remember what the name of it was. On the bright side, because I now have this cold hard dinero, it's in my best interest to uh, get some of the 
bandages from the pharmacy. Bakery, 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 bakery. Uh, let me just go to the pharmacy first. All right, my good man. I would like about 15. Thank you very much. 15 bandages. I feel like that's a good amount. I don't really need the first aid kits as long as I'm able to, you know, keep my keep my distance, look at my health. And uh yes, I would very much like a fish. $10. God damn. Whatever. Anyways, bakery time. No, bakery time. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hiya, I'm here to pick up an order. Hmm. Ah, yes. Your mother said you'd be coming, though I expected you to be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. Attitude, man. Come on now. Did you know? This bagel belongs to Michael's family. Or should I say, the Maverick? I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Here's your order, sir. We hope to see you soon. Please enjoy your big goods. Sweet. Thank you very much. We're good to go. Ready when you are. Alright. As much as I want to go to Gino's Pizza right now, I am obligated to go back home and give that fish to that cat. So, I'll be with you guys momentarily. Alright, kitty. I'm here. Papa's got you a big old fish. Meow. Uh, left a gift for me. I got trash. Fucking amazing. Thank you very much, little guy. Just give me a big old pile of trash. That's only gonna reimburse one extra dollar in my bank account. You know, since I'm looking for trash and seashells, might as well look through the entire town just to see if I can find any. Ah! My dog Lucas ran out of the door again! He's always trying to get out of the house. Sometimes I wonder if he only lives here for the food. Uh, where'd he go this time? I guess you're trying to look for your dog now, huh? Don't worry, artist. I'm on the case. You got Sonny and Kel, partners in crime, here to help you out. But first, I feel obligated to knock on everyone's door to see if they have any trash over here. Uh, Basil hasn't been taking care of his flowers lately. I hope he feels better soon. His flowers need him. That's a really bad sign. Also, how are you? How can I not enter the door? Come on now. But yeah, that's a really bad sign. Basil not taking care of his flowers? Yeesh. That's that's no bueno. Also, I don't know if it's a good idea to uh, knock over here, but you know what? Um, when life gives you lemons. No response. All right. <laughs> All right, good. I don't have to feel the wrath of Aubrey just yet. All right, this seems a little eerie. Something in the air seems amiss lately. The spirits, they are howling. Sounds like they're preparing a welcoming party. Someone close by may be joining them soon. Eh? What's with that look? You think I'm crazy or something? Don't be so quick to judge. You'd believe too if you've seen what I've seen. Even the pastor was just like, yeah, there's something, there's something in the air going on around here. Damn. I feel like some shit is about to, about to hit us real hard. I'm not prepared for it. My tiny little heart is not prepared for it. Hey, what about this dog over here? Is this Lucas? Bark, bark, bark. Uh, boy, where are you going? Uh, I don't know if you're going the right way or not. But what I can definitely tell you is that for some reason, all of a sudden, today just seems like a very good day that everyone's clean and all. But the unfortunate reality of that is that, well, there's no trash for me to pick up. Where am I going to get my money? <laughs> all right, he finally found his place back home. You got trash. 
Thank you. <laughs> I guess that's something. Oh, Lucas, don't worry me like that. Hey, did you send Lucas back here? I'm sorry for the trouble. Here, take this. Paintbrush, cool. Can I see your photo now? Or painting, whatever. I still can't. Come on now. You said last time that it was finished, and all, and you're still giving me this bullshit excuse, this bullshit uh, text bug that says that it's not. Come on now. I just want to see it. It has come to my knowledge that I may or may not have accidentally forgotten to brush my teeth before leaving with Kel. Whoops. I don't know how far that's going to set me back. Hopefully not by 50 years, but you never know. Alright, first of all, here you go, lady. Here is the rest of the trash that I have from the city. Apparently the city is clean all of a sudden. I guess that's a good thing. And you, Chris. Here's a seashell that I have. Just one. Wow, it's such a cute one. <laughs> Thank you. She's filling with something in her hands. Hey, no peeking. Well, what is it? Bro, you're kidding me. I just gave her I just gave her my one fucking seashell for nothing. Thanks a lot. Also, what what, what was the paintbrush do? It feels cool to carry around. Cool, I guess. I guess Sunny finally has a charm. Alright, I guess there's no other place for us to go other than Geno's. Uh, I was about to say, I really don't want to donate more money to you, but thankfully, he didn't want me to donate more. <laughs> Geno's Pizza's the bomb. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck, no. This is one disgusting, dirty, greasy looking cheese pizza. Just the way I like it. Let's dig in! So... Mm, mm. We're still good to go on our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole! Mm. Made it myself. Oh, I have a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. Uh, do you think it'll work, Charlie? Uh, good old Charles. <laughs> so we're going to our secret hangout spot. Mm. That's a perfect date spot. Mm. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming. Mm. Sounds much more torture, 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 torture. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Vance. Pretty fun. Well, mm. while you're all fooling around being babies, I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the p perfect mm, rocks all week. <laughs> mm. You can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Michael! Like any girls would actually wanna mm, go to the lake with you without pay, without you paying them. I told you to call me the man. Oh! I emptied my tongue. <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> Master, are you hurt? I can't read this. Yeah, pepho. You pay for this, Kim. Okay, no. You pay for this, Kim. Alright. <laughs> uh, kindly seat yourselves. I'm just going to uh, try and uh, not bother anyone over here. My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier. I just can't help myself when we live so close to Gina's Pizza. Uh, I really shouldn't get anything, though. Last night, my wife smelled pepperoni on my breath and got really mad. Oh boy, dude. Hit the gym like I do. I'm actually losing weight, which is which is good and surprising. So, I see you're peeking at the Help Wanted poster that I put up there. Ooh, yes, I'm very much interested in a job. Damn straight. Alright, what... So, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? I'll just start with the good news. So the good news is, we got three different pizza orders today. The bad news is, our delivery boy suddenly called in sick yet again. These customers are all our regulars, so we stopped recording their addresses a long time ago. I can't remember where they live off the top of my head, but I do remember what their houses look like. Here, just take these notes and you'll be fine. I'll go grab your uniform. Please don't tell me I have to do this in the time limit. Don't be shy! Wear your uniform loud and proud! Now remember, you have three pizzas to deliver. 
When you're done, just bike your way back to the shop. I'm counting on you. Oh, <laughs> oh. All right, doctor, what do you have in store for us? Look for the house that has the white the white dot with no windows and the grill in the yard. All right. Grill in the yard, grill in the yard. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put I'm just going to stop the music right here right now because I'm probably going to put in some Spider-Man music over it. All right, it's this one. It's the White House. Pizza delivery! Fuck. <laughs> Wrong pizza! No! I can't read these notes! Can you find a house that has the yellow... The yellow what? I can't fucking read that! With windows and cars out front? Has a yellow what? Yellow what? <laughs> the yellow mat? Is that is that the one you're talking about? All right, all right, all right. I I, I failed the first one, but I'm not gonna fail this one. This is the only thing that uh, this is the only other yellow thing that I see here. Hey, it's a delivery. Who are you? You didn't order no dang pizza. Get. Dude! Can you find a house that has the yellow... What is that? <laughs> the yellow what? I genuinely cannot read that. Oh my god, this is a fucking travesty. Okay, this one fucking word can either be one or two things. It can either mean ball, like this ball that's right outside over here, or it can mean door. Honestly, I'm more or less leaning towards door because... Ah. Uh... Fuck it, let's try it. Pizza delivery! Fuck! Dude, I... Motherfucker! If this isn't the right house, then I, I don't know what the fuck he's writing. I don't know what he's smoking. Was that the right house? Dude! What? Oh my god, I'm worse than Spider-Man. What is this? This pizza... Grease plus the house that has the... And the small dirt path? Okay, I can read small dirt path. They're all small dirt paths! Okay, does that say ball or does that say grill? I don't know. I can't fucking read this chicken scratch. This is worse than my handwriting. <laughs> and my handwriting's abysmal. All right, you know what? I'm probably going to fail this one either, so might as well go for it, right? Pizza delivery. You're disturbing my quality time with myself. Leave at once. All right. Dude, I'm telling you, I can't read this. I, <laughs> I can't read this. Okay, grill. I'm gonna assume it meant grill and not ball. Pizza delivery! Oh my god! I'm going to fucking lose it if it's not the house on the left. Because the house on the right does not have a dirt path. Pizza delivery! Is that not the right house? Oh, uh, Gino. Hey, newbie. You're just the guy I wanted to see. According to some recent feedback, it seems that your customer satisfaction rating is 0 out of 10. Anyways, here's some monies. Maybe you could use it to buy some pizza. No shot! <laughs> and since you've been such a good sport, here's another freebie. Dude! It's one of my all-time favorite tunes. You can play at the jukebox right down yonder. Oh my god. Dude. 
How? <laughs> How? Oh my god, Gino. Jesus. Hello and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Hiya, I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? Well, yeah, I do want pizza. Nom nom. I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. <laughs> but it's on the menu, isn't it? Hmm, yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. My god, with the attitude, Gino. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's name is Hero. That's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You'd think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something. But no, he just really likes sandwiches. That's actually a dope name. Okay, here's your hero sandwich. Please enjoy. If here is an, his nickname, then what's his real name? I got my pizza order. Let's go. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sunny. I'm ready when you are. Okay, just leave without making a scene whatsoever. Mission accomplished. Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Well, that's everything, and just in time, too! Looks like the sun is about to set. Let's go back to my house. You should be coming home any time now. What if I go back in? Alright, alright. Whatever you do, do not make a ruckus. Do not make a ruckus! Just playing on the jukebox. Yes, let's donate the CD to the jukebox. Yes, sir, let's play it. The otherworldly CD. What do we got going over here? What kind of tunes do we got? Hmm. Some banger tunes I hear. Uh, dang it. I'm trying to fix Soul Arcade Machine, but I'm missing a rare and important piece. It looks like it was just bitten off right here. I wonder where it could be. I'm right. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. I know this song. This is a cover of Stardust Diving by S Sam Neeland. Dope music, bro. Alright. I feel like it's in my best interest, uh, once again, to not bother these guys at all, whatsoever. So, that's why I'm going to bother them by clicking on A. I am closing my eyes. I don't know what's gonna happen. What happens if I press A? Oh, I think they know that I'm here. Yeah, I- oh, never mind. Angel didn't know I was here. Don't you know it's rude to bother people while they're eating? Ew, it's a nerd! Alright, alright. Alright, fortunately for me, fortunately for me, I, I- I dodged a bullet here. Oh, Charlie said hello! Hey, Charlie! Okay, I dodged a bullet there, 100%. While well, I get to listen to some banger tunes as well. I am still upset though at the fact that I managed to get a customer rating service satisfactory rating of 0 out of 10. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> it was just chicken scratch. Was there was there just not a right house whatsoever? There's no shot I failed the 1 in 4 chance every single time. There's no shot I did that. All right, time to go to your house, Kel. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff and, well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. So, I think you should walk in first. That way she'll see you first and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. See? It's a win-win for everyone! <laughs> got it? Alright, let's go! Ah, uh, but first, we got my boy Hector. Am I a good boy? You are indeed a good boy, Hector. Don't forget that. Alright. Where are your parents? 
Mom, Sunny's here. Oh my god, I heard her bolting downstairs. What took you so long, Kel? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that Sunny? It must be. It's so good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. There you go. Hurry, Sunny. Let's go upstairs to my bedroom. <laughs> now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's done. Wow, really dodged the bullet there, did you? I'm gonna assume this is your parents' bedroom, right? Yeah, that door is locked. What do we have over here? A bunch of family photos. Kel sure has a lot of relatives. Think you can hold it a bit longer, Sunny? I wanna show you my room first. Alright, alright, we'll, we'll go see your room first, Kel. God damn! This is a big ass room! Yeah, I'm gonna assume, uh, let's see here. Generally speaking, I'm going to assume that you're on the left side, whereas Trophy Boy over here, <laughs> Hero, is on the right. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox, just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. Yep, if the basketball hoop and the boombox are right to the left, then it has to, it has, this is definitely Kel's side. Pretty sweet. Mom won't let me play it too loud because she says it'll be bad for Sally. Oh wait, you haven't met Sally yet, huh? Do you have a new sister? <laughs> Guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now! Uh, Sally's my baby sister. My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. <laughs> Kel! There's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Huh? I wonder who that could be. I don't know. You tell me, Buster. Either, sh either, she's either she believes that Basil is a girl. It could be Chris or... Oh wait, no, it's, uh, what was her name? Polly, I believe? Yeah. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sunny. Uh, sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Hmm. We did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I know I could count on you guys. Oh god, Basil's missing again. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this. Especially with Aubrey and the Scooter Gang around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Uh, Alright, just make sure to be home by dinner. Hey, don't you worry, Mrs. Kell. This is Kel's mother. We'll find Basil in a jiffy. Now the first and obvious place where I can think of would probably be over here in the park. But if what she says is right, then Basil ain't here. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody, help! Uh, Sunny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me! Please! Oh, where is his voice coming from? Oh, hold on a sec. I know this area. Uh, Basil's voice is coming down from our old hangout spot. Uh, the entrance should still be somewhere around here. Uh, uh, where? Where? <laughs> Found it, found it, found it, found it! Alright, alright. Basil! Oh no. Basil! Help me! Somebody! What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene! This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited! Dang it, Basil! Be quiet! Someone's gonna find this place! Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. 
Uh oh, misunderstanding 101. H hey, stop it! Ooh, what are you doing to Basil? Ooh, what the? Oh, it's Kel and Sunny again. Why do you always show up? How do you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We gotta defend our turf. Uh, Aubrey. Aubrey. Go away, Kel. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now. Well, this used to be our old hangout spot, wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or we'll mess you up. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then at least stop bullying Basil. Uh, we weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. <laughs> yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. That sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the maverick. Uh, Aubrey? Fuck. Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Sunny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach them a lesson! Uh-oh. Jesus Christ. No! Uh, alright, Sunny. You just gotta focus up. Uh, we just gotta have some words of encouragement. Right, Kel? Right, Kel? Okay, okay, okay. Words of encouragement. Words of encouragement! Uh, just, fuck it. Just, just go on right ahead. Okay, can we encourage him a little more? Can we juice him up? Juice him up. Shit, he can't go any higher. Oh my god, you're joking me. Actually joking me. Uh, and Kill's dead. Motherfucker. Uh, yeah, Sunny's not gonna survive for long. Uh,. I can't run either way. Um, uh, yeah, no, this was a lost cause. <laughs> is, is this real life? We won, Master! We won! Serves you right, nerds. Kim, I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. Heh! <laughs> Kel. Sunny. Get the heck out of here. Oh, fuck. Well. Whoa! We really did it! The evil foes have been defeated! Dang. Sorry, Sonny. Why did I think we could take on six people at once? Even if they're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Kel. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No. I won't! I can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Mari is already dead! Can you stop it with that? And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? Oh lord. We're about to get a uh, beating from her, aren't we? Uh, this isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. <laughs> wow. They just up and left just like that. Damn, even Kim! You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later then. So much for a friend. Uh, Aubrey? Ugh. 
<laughs> Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. God, I really should not be yelling considering that it's a midnight now. Sonny, why? Why do you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? Basil. And you. You're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did. Uh, Aubrey. Uh, I... Get away from me! <gasps> Shoot. Now you've done it. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Wait, hold on. I didn't mean to. Sonny, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. We gotta do this, Sonny. We have to help Basil. We have to help the homie out. We may have a fear of water, but... We need to help our homie Basil out. God, I can't, I can't see a thing. Oh lord. I know everything's locked. That's the one downside of me recording so late is that I can't really ex give my expressive loud voice and whatnot because... Okay, first of all, that's Mari. That's spooking me out. And second of all, I really can't be shouting or whatnot because again it's midnight on a sunday nonetheless mari mari uh He mirrors my every move. Granted, that one move is just going down because I can't go up. Mari? The demons, they're just getting closer and closer. God, is this what it feels like? Like going in the water when you don't know how to swim? God, I haven't swam in such a long time. I really hope I don't feel like this. Mari? Oh, my lord. Something drags you down. All right, bucko. Unlike you, I need to calm down. I have already seen what this is. I already know how to deal with it. Just need to focus and attack. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. And it did nothing. God damn it. You have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. You reach out to the voice and you remember how to persist. Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. Just persist. This is much clearer now. Alright, dickhead, eat shit. Oh, whoops. And it ended nothing. Uh, do I have to keep persisting? 
All right, Sunny. You and me. We are persisting as far as we can go. Did that work? Oh no. That that Mari? Hero.